Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to review Zoho Projects. Zoho Project is a project management tool that you can use also as a software development company for let's say for issues and uh, the sprints. Now I'm going to talk to you about in this video in Zoho pricing. Then I'm going to share with you like the walkthrough what, I, what you can find there. I'm going to talk to you about the disadvantages that I personally see in Zoho Projects. Uh, then I'm going to give you the alternatives and some good features it has. So let me start with the Zoho pricing and what you can find here. In Zoho pricing, the one thing that I like comparing to other competitors is their price. It's cheap. It's much, much cheaper uh, comparing to Teamwork or comparing to uh, Monday.com or Smartsheet. So when you would come here, you see that even the free version can be really good and effective. Now you see the premium where you have the unlimited projects, 20 project templates, 100 gigabyte of storage space, custom view subtasks that even for five euro per user per month, you're going to get everything. And maybe you don't even need these thing fills here, uh, the things that you see in enterprise, but even with the enterprise for 10 euro a month, comparing to 25 on the competitors, this is a really good deal. So Zoho projects uh, get a good start when we compare the pricing plans and when I review it. Now, when I go further, the first disadvantage that many people had, and I had it also, that is, is not that intuitive for me. Maybe for you it's going to be. So definitely try to do it by yourself, see it by yourself if you like it, if you don't like it, and then uh, let me down in the comments. Also, the huge advantage it has is that you can connect it with uh, like other Zoho products. So you don't have to actually use Zoho accounting. I mean like accounting, a wave, fresh books, whatever. You can use Zoho accounting. You can use Zoho tools and combine it with the Zoho projects. In that way, it's perfect. So I would definitely recommend like checking that up. And now let's jump into the workflow, what you can find here. So when you're in the project Zoho, you're going to find the home feed. Let me close this. Uh, discuss, report, calendar projects. Work overview are like the tasks, the issues, the milestones, or even timesheets that I can have here and add. Now, of course, you're going to have the recent projects here, but you can simply click on a project and I can add a new project here. You would add a project title. Let's say this is going to be, get called uh, YouTube channel. And I have the owner, the template, end date, start date, right? I can add this. You can also add a project overview, uh, task layout, roll up, so you can really optimize what do you want here. Now I'll click add here and what we can actually find here. So right now it's creating in our written projects. Here I can simply create a task and task name can be like YouTube marketing video. You can add a description the owner, the work hours, start date, priority. So all the things you can add right here, I would simply click add and look what will happen. It will open, I'm going to close it. You can easily uh, make it like open in progress in review. Now what you can do is when you would go next to the add a task, you can simply choose between the classic or you can switch between the plane and you can have all the things here. Then, of course, you can have on the top left the dashboard. You can switch between the GAND and exports here, reports here. And then you're going to find also the documents and milestones. So it got a lot of stuff what you can do here. So you have also options to add a timesheet and issues. And I can submit the issue. So issue type will can be YouTube bug, let's say. And I can add the followers, associate team for the issue due date and just click add here and YouTube bug current status open to be tested release milestone so you can see that it's a little bit more complex and for me it's not that intuitive but for you it can be really easy to use so this is completely up to you how you feel about the tool but this is for me, the biggest disadvantage that into intuition it, into it is not really that intuitive and the learning curve is higher to understand it, how it all works. 
like Asana for my pers from my perspective is much easier to use comparing to Zoho projects. But this are, there is a huge advantage of the pricing plans it has and the features it got also with the issues uh, if you have software development company. And not only that, that you can connect it with Zoho One. So that's also a really great thing. So when I would come here and add here Zoho One, And you see like everything integrated for everyone mobile device. And you would have like all the things in Zoho One. See, all the apps. So that's really good. And I would definitely recommend checking that out. Per employee and you're gonna have covered everything. So in that way, it's perfect. Now let me know in the comments your thoughts. So let me talk to you about the competition and what alternatives you have in Zoho projects. So the first thing is like monday.com is a little bit more expensive. They also offer a free account, uh, but you need to like up to three seats to you to use it. And you need to pay like for free seats always when you're going to choose the, uh, the pricing plan. It's more intuitive comparing to Zoho projects. Then you have ClickUp. ClickUp it's also good, but it's slower comparing to the whole projects and monday.com and sometimes it's lagging. Now, also another thing or another tool that you can use is Airtable. So Airtable is good too. And Asana. Asana is good project management tool. Uh, simple, effective. Uh, you can really make it that complicated, but I recommend it too. So this is like all what you can do here. Or you can always go to top right and have a new task directly. Uh, you're gonna have the live chat, but many people said that it wasn't that great to communicate with the customer support of Zoho projects, but I don't have an opinion on it because I didn't use it. I'm just like uh, referring other reviews. So yeah, thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you're going to have a great day. And this was a review of Zoho projects. Goodbye.